Hey there, so today we'll learn how to use Git and we'll go through a basic command to create a local repository. So here I have a new uh, a folder project. I'll create um, an, another folder project, web project. Okay, and let's just create some files within this web project. And let's just go for some folders, images, CSS, and okay, let's just go for images, CSS, and GS. And I'll create an, a new file in index.html and within this HTML file, let's just add a headline. Go for hello, save that. And I'll enter this image folder and download an image. Okay. And let's just create some files within the CSS folder. Okay, we'll go for main CSS and within the GS, I'll go for main GS. Okay, now what do I have here? I have a project with some files, CSS files, images, and GS files, JavaScript files, and an in JavaScript file and index.html. But what I want to do exactly is if, for example, this is day zero, for example, I start doing some modification within this files. But in day 20, as an example, I do another modifications, but I want to get into what I already done in day zero or in day one or in day two or whatever. So I wanted to, I want to track the modification and track the history of the modification that I will do through the whole process on creating my project or the web project. Okay, to do that manually, so we can do that manually. You can just keep copying the same files. So for example, if I do uh, a modification of this index.html file, okay, let's just, and I just need to, move first to copy this folder. Let's just copy this web project. I need to copy this web project to another web project version two. Then I enter this web project version two. Then I open this index.html and I do a modification as an example. Now I have two versions. So a version which has the first modification and the version which has the second modification. So this isn't a good thing because doing that manually, you just keep creating folders multiple times and it isn't good. So this is why we need to use a system that allows us to do that. And Git is the system that allows us to do that. Git enable versioning for your project and it will give you all of the history and some other features and you will discover all of that.